Hello everybody! Today we're going to see how I draw Rex from the Clone Wars. Okay, pencils first and then Sharpies. So if you don't want to watch the pencil portion of the video where I sketch the entire thing out, look in the description and you'll find a link that you can click on that will take you to the Sharpie portion of the video. I'll even include one for color. But for those of you that are going to stick around, I'm going to start off with a quick sketch for myself, for me, and get us going. All right, so yeah, that's the point. This is for me. I'm going to try to go fast because I know you want to get to the Sharpie portion, and I do too, you know? But uh, you got to lay down the groundwork before you build the house. You got to put the frames up, you know, stuff like that. You got to, I don't know why I'm trying to come up with metaphors. Uh, you got to throw the sketch down before you can do the drawing. That's the perfect metaphor right there because it's exactly what we're doing. So I don't know why I'm trying to come up with a better one. It's, there's an exact perfect one for us. So anyway, that's, that's what we're doing. We're putting the sketch down and uh, going from there. So I'm kind of coming up with like a uh, like a flying pose because of you know the old jetpack you know stuff like that, but uh, uh, you know it's just I wanted to action an action pose. I want to give you something a little different, you know. So that's basically where where this is coming from. And I'm gonna draw the guns. Normally I don't draw guns because I don't like promoting violence. But these are space guns, right? These are laser pistols, which are not real. So. To a point, I'm not really drawing guns still, you know? Okay, and so I'm gonna have them kind of jumping through the air, flying, whatever you wanna call it. So I'm getting more of a, uh, an action pose, but this gun, or this hand, is, uh, is kind of, you're looking at the top angle, so you're not really gonna see much. All right? Okay, so I like, the sketch, I like the pose, so now I can move on to the details. And that's really what I need to stress with you kids. Or adults, you know, I don't know why I say kids. Eh, just any, anybody in general. Is uh, get your sketch down. Get your, your, your pose, your sketch, and then add your details because you don't want to find yourself drawing or redrawing because you, you, uh, you, you got too eager and you sketched everything out and then you realize you're falling off the page or you didn't do it right. So always always get your sketch down. Then you can do the fun stuff. And I know nobody likes to do the, the work. But you know what? You gotta do it. You gotta put in the hours. Same thing like this with my YouTube chip page, my channel. Drawing every day got to do a drawing every day because a I told you I would and B you know that's that's what gets you kids something to watch see I always keep saying kids it always gets you something to watch because uh, you know I if I was if I was just doing nothing you know no one's gonna come here no one's gonna watch this but but I like drawing all the crazy little fun stuff you know I love drawing so that's the whole idea that's why I'm doing this but like I said I gotta I gotta do the work gotta put in the work put in the hours and uh, do the fun stuff all right this is coming out pretty fast too so I think we'll, we'll get there really quick okay let's see what's over here oh I gotta remember the, the small detail and some of this too is just sketch you know that's all it really is gonna be and then when I add the uh, the fun stuff that's where I'll get the detail all right and I think that's that's pretty good for the sketch uh, ooh, yeah I gotta finish up this side didn't do that huh um let's see what can we do for his hand there let's just do the whole side Side shot. Okay, so let's see. When you draw your hand, you got to draw it holding something. This is a drill. Um, you don't want it closed like that because you know you got to put it in something. There's the 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 space for something that is there. You got it. You got to make it. You know you got to do it. So I like to to uh, 
get something to draw or get something to look at, a model, you know, and don't ever feel bad about using yourself as a model because it's it's the easiest thing you have because you're, it's it's always there, you know. All right, looks good. I want to get a picture of his helmet and see if I can get close to how he looks. Okay, you do a little frowny face here. And now I've got to figure out how I want to do his welds. You know how he welded his helmet together, this little tacky seam, because, uh, it, you know, do I do it in color or do I actually black line something in and then uh, color that in? Because it's, it basically what I'm asking is, do I want it to stand out or not? Because when you trace it with the, the black, it's gonna stand out. The outline is definitely gonna stand out. Whereas if I do it with color, it's subtle. And I can control how much it stands out uh, much, much easier, much better. What's the word I'm looking for? Much, much awesomer, much gooder. That's it. You can control it much gooder. I'm just kidding, don't use those words. Those are bad words, kid. All right. All right, I think that's good. I think I'm ready to go with the Sharpie. I'm just gonna erase a lot of these sketch lines because a lot of what I do is I just throw lines and throw lines and throw lines until I get what I want. And the more it comes together, the darker I get with more the more confidence. So these are the confidence lines. We're gonna get rid of the sketch lines and stick with the confidence. And that's what you're gonna do in life. Get rid of your sketchiness, work with your confidence. All right. Okay, and I think that's enough that I can still see where I'm going and it won't stand out over the Sharpie because I want my Sharpie to stand out, not the pencils. If you're working with pencils, you just get darker. I am gonna move over to the Sharpie. So now, cleaning my eraser, I wanna welcome everybody that skipped over to the Sharpie portion. I welcome anybody. I appreciate anybody watching any portions. Okay, so here we go. Welcome skippers, welcome to the Sharpie portion of the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe because I do a drawing every single day and you can join along and have some fun. I'm gonna be using a Sharpie fine point, a Sharpie pen, mostly the fine point, but the pen's a little finer than the fine point and can find the things that the fine point can't quite find. So I've sketched the entire thing out. I've erased the sketch lines and what's left is a ghost of an image that usually I make with a special computer. But today I just erased what I needed so I could see a small faint place to lay the Sharpie. So, I think I'm gonna start with the Sharpie pen first and add just some of the smaller detail in the face and then build out with the big Sharpie for the thicker parts. So, I've sketched it out, I know where I'm gonna go, so I'm not just drawing blindly, I'm actually planning this. So, I'm gonna draw his mask. Usually I just start with the eyes anyway. So, I'm gonna start with his, his uh, not eyepiece, what is this? His visor, right? And build from here. Okay. It's hard because I want to turn my paper, but I can't. All right. And there we go. I just wanted to use this smaller Sharpie because I can control the line widths much easier than I can with this one. And uh, I want it to look just right. So now I'm going to give him his little frowny face. Like that. The old frown of the of the clones. Or the stormtroopers, really. They're all they all got that frowny face. Um Okay, so let's see, where can we go from here? So I talked about this in a sketch for the welds. What do I want to do for the welds? I think I'm gonna put them in. I think I'm gonna do them. So let's let's go ahead and add just like a thin open spot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and do that. Do same thing here. Keep it real thin and light, like that, nice and subtle. Then when you color it in, it's gonna look a little bit, it's gonna look even better. But uh, just, just to control the, uh, the look of how he put his helmet together, right? Because isn't that what it is? He put his, uh, took some of the old parts 
the the the, the other phases and made made one uh, specifically for what he wants. Old Rex. Oh, that old Rex. All right, so let's just keep going with this. I should probably switch over to the other Sharpie because I don't need to worry about fine details on this, except for the circles I'm about to put in the middle of the mask. Or not the middle of the mask, but in the, the, um, the mouth parts. Like that. And there's a middle one too. If you can get it in, go for it. If not, we'll do that with color. There you go. I'm happy with that. Um, and again, the weld is gonna go kind of over it like that, because that's where it connects. So now that I have a connect point, I can connect it like that. Keep it simple, keep it subtle. And let's see, the other welds, hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and do those too. So we're not gonna, not, not gonna switch over quite yet. We're just going to build onto this. And then I can add those welds. So let's draw the side up to the eye here, like that. Um, let's go ahead and do this side, but this one's gonna be a little bit th different in thickness because he's gonna have the side helmet um, eye piece, right? Um, but I could do the other welds like that. Again, nice and thin, and if you don't get them, that's okay, don't worry about it. If your lines accidentally fall into each other, don't worry about it, it's okay. Like that. All right, um, what else? Let's see, there's going across, so let's go ahead and connect his eyepiece here, like this. And I'm gonna draw his little side piece here like this. And I'm thickening these up just a little bit too because when I switch over to this Sharpie, it's super thick. So I'm kind of preparing for how that's about to look. And, and getting a nice, a nice thick and thin looking line. So all the blue and all that stuff like that, we'll take care of that with color. We're not worried about that. We're just drawing the, the cool markings of a, of a cool mask, cool helmet. Okay, so there's the top of his visor. And man, this is hard with uh, drawing just side to side like this. Usually I'm a puller, you know, pick your spot and pull down, but it's hard because my paper's taped down, but this is the life I chose. I'm going to stick with it. And let's see, there's another, I, I can't, let me see if I can do it. I'm going to try to do a small little weld on top. Ooh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, it fell off. And that's okay. And see, that's what I'm talking about. If yours touches like that, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's fun to not have it touch because it stands out, but even if it does that, don't worry. No one's ever gonna notice once you get the entire thing and draw it out and be awesome. Everybody's gonna look at your drawing and say, whoa, that's really cool. No one's gonna say, hey, that weld touches. And if they do, well, good for them. That's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna draw the top of the helmet, just bring it down to the side here. Again, I'm gonna thicken it up just a little bit. Okay, so same thing, draw it over here now. We're gonna do this side. Just gonna come down like that. Oops, thicken that up. Left that too hollow. There we go. Not bad, not bad. So again, little markings will take care of those with color. I'm not gonna worry about it right now. I'm gonna draw his little, uh, I keep calling it a visor, but it's not a visor, it's a little antenna. Oof, that's the word. Sometimes I don't have my words. My words don't work right. Don't know why. No, I do know why. I'm not a writer, I'm not a speaker, I'm a drawer. I joked around in another video that I'm the artist man alive. <laughs> Get it? Not the smartest man alive, the artist man alive. Woohoo! All right, so I think I'm happy with that. I'm gonna switch over to the big Sharpie and get thicker lines here. So let's actually connect that real fast. Okay. All right, so now I'm gonna draw his, uh, all the parts that connect. So basically his neck is gonna come in like this, but everything else is gonna build off of that. So I've got his arms kind of up because um, in his action pose. So this, this shoulder pauldron is gonna be a little bit high. So I'm gonna raise it up like this. Then I'm gonna 
draw it out like that, come back in, do like that. Now, the reason I did those little bumps is because it has the, you know, the, the, the levels, the, the layers. So I'm just gonna do kind of something like this. And I'm doing it with a smaller Sharpie, so it will, uh, it will stand out of a thick and thin um, contrast. A little too thin there. There you go. Now we color it in, it'll uh, still stand out. Okay, so now I'm gonna draw his um, uh, bullet pack. I'm not too sure exactly what this is, but his his little um, little three three pack chest piece. Sure. All right. So again, I'm going to come back with a thin sharpie and add the flaps and the. Uh, the segments like this and I wanted to do it like this just again like I said to have a, a nice thick thin contrast I mean we've got the sharpies we might as well use them right okay let's square that off a little bit all right cool okay and so he's got the neck piece but uh, I'm gonna kind of come in like this bring it down and kind of come up and it's gonna come over here go back up and there's that then there's this neck and again there's segments in everything so I'm just gonna kind of do something like that just to accent them all right okay so there we go so his neck we're not gonna worry about it. that's all you know material cloth we'll do something like that but it's really gonna be black anyway so you're not gonna see any of that so all right, so now let's work on his arms. So let's just build out. Basically, it's armor. That's all we're doing. So we're going to draw one piece of armor like this. And I'm going to do like some, just some, some little, uh, like composite lines where it's put together, something like that, just to, you know, make it different. This is actual arm where it's coming through. And so then I'll draw the other piece like this and again it's mostly armor so we can add little extra pieces like this just to make it you know just accent it you know and so now we're basically just drawing a bunch of armor pieces that's really all we're doing um, okay so his hand I talked about this in the sketch that uh, you want him holding something is a a drill is what this is. You want him holding something, so don't close these fingers all the way in. You gotta have something in the way, because basically he's holding his pistol. So I'm gonna draw his thumb up here like this. Come down, bring it over. The pistol's coming through, and then the fingers are gonna be over it and not touching. We're not touching the, the hand, or I guess it's the hand. They are part of the hand, so they're touching, right? Not touching, that's part of the hand, is what I was trying to say. There we go. Draw that up, we'll put the other trigger finger in there, and then draw his laser pistol 45. That's what it looks like, right? All right. So, I'll try to add just a little bit extra. But again, it's a laser pistol, so there's only so much that I can add because it's a space gun. Space gun, space gun, look at me, hold my space gun. Also, I'm not a singer. So, there we go, one hand done. Let's add just a little bit of, of uh, extra goodiness because there's creases and folds in that hand. All right, so here we go, same thing. We're gonna work our way on this side. And he's got a, a shoulder pad over here, like that. And his arm, let's see, his armor, actually, is gonna come under like this. And his, his shirt is black, so you're really not gonna see anything until then we're just gonna do like we did over there with the, uh, the extra pieces of armor. Like that. Again, that's gonna be black, so we're not too worried about it, but I'll go ahead and add just a few little creases and folds because it's actually uh, cloth, you know? It's not uh, um, armor like the rest of this is. 
Okay, so now I'm just going to, let's see, he's gonna have like a shoulder, not a shoulder, a uh, elbow piece like that. And we'll just connect it with armor up here. Like that. I know that's a, that's a little odd, but again, we'll just say that's the, uh, the cloth armor right there, or cloth armor, the cloth material right there. And uh, so now this hand is just gonna be kind of pointed down and all you're gonna see, we'll do the top of it right there. All you're gonna see the fingers going around the top of the gun because of the way his hand is just kind of wrapped around and you can't really see much. So basically you're looking at the top hand like that. So if he was holding a gun, all you're really seeing is that, you know, so you can't see any, any specific detail. Okay, but we'll go ahead and draw like the center of it, of the laser pistol. Uh, the space gun, space gun. Doot, 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 ba doot, space gun. All right. All right, so let's keep going. We're gonna draw his armor, his chest piece. And that's just kind of coming down like this. Going back around to the back. Got a piece going there where it's connected. Going back around to the back. And again, he's got uh, some more metal pieces here into his belt. And he also has like a, like a um, breast piece. Like that. And I can't see if there's a center or not, but we're not worried about it. It's okay. I'm gonna keep going. So he's got, uh, you know, the, the space pack. So everybody that has a belt always carries their juices and Cheetos and uh, um, you know little little uh, juice box and fruit by the foot, all in their little containers here on their belt. And everybody needs that, right? Do you think they call it space fruit by the foot? Because every 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 space movie. Okay, I'm gonna go on a funny little uh, nerd tangent because I watch a lot of science fiction. Everybody, everybody that has something in space, they call it space this. So it's, we'll meet you in spaceport. We'll meet you at the space dock. We're gonna have some space juice. We're gonna have uh, space flowers, you know? It's like, well, we know you're in space, we get it. But for some strange reason, well not some strange reason because that's the writers, that's what they do. Everybody has space, space stuff. So, should we be calling our stuff Earth stuff? Should we just say, um, here, have some earth juice. Here, have a, uh, I'll meet you in the, the earth port. Space, uh, I mean space, um, um, sci-fi rant. That's my sci-fi rant. All right. Okay, there's more armor pieces. We're just gonna do something like that. All right. So now we're just gonna draw his, his, uh, Holsters are gonna come down like this, and they're empty, obviously. Well, I say obviously, but for those of you who don't understand, there's, the guns are in his hand, so there's no reason for anything to be in there. So that's why I say obviously. Hopefully it was obvious. And now I'm just gonna give it some space decoration. All right. So the other one's back behind here, so you can't really see it as much. So I'm just gonna draw his crotch piece, his armor plating for his crotch, because you gotta, you gotta be careful of your crotch. You get your space crotch. <laughs> All right, and there you go. Space parts, done. And so he's got uh, his his uh, like cloth, I should've drawn it like, drawn it like this. His cloth uh, um, skirt. And I'm gonna have it kind of flowing out because he's kind of jumping in the air. So this one, I'm gonna do, I got it going, billowing from here. It's gonna go out and go like this. Okay. Come back into where his leg's gonna be. So I'm gonna draw the other side of it too because it's got a nice uh, blue edge to it that I wanna draw. This one, I'm gonna draw floating like this. Kind of coming back, flowing in and it's gonna flow back that way. So I should probably draw his legs, but I wanted to show you how I got it kind of flowing out. 
All right, so his legs are basically, so his crotch is right here, and he's got black um, underneath, so all we're gonna do is draw like the armor, like this. Okay, and that's gonna, there, we're done with the the, the inside of his, his pants here. Now again, um, I, I like drawing creases and folds, and since that's material, I'm just gonna kinda do that, but it's gonna be covered with black anyway, so there's no really no need to do it, except for the fact that we can. Okay, so now we're just drawing armor legs, so we're just gonna bring it down like that. And uh, he does have his, let me draw this first, his knee pad, it's got like this centerpiece like that. And I just wanted to make sure I drew that first so I don't draw through it. Okay? I'm gonna do the same thing here. Just because, like I said, my sketch already told me where I'm gonna go, and I just wanna make sure I just didn't draw through that. All right. Okay, so let's finish off his knee pads. And come in here like this. Connect any place that would be his, his uh, um, underpants, basically is what they are. Draw more of the armor. And this one's more of a different angle, so it's gonna look a little, a little off because it's kind of push back, so to speak. Okay, so now we're just gonna draw his space shoes. Pretty simple. There we go. Let me add just a little bit of detail, a little bit of, of, uh, of wear and tear, you know, of uh, detail, basically, is what I'm trying to say, just because we can. Oops, you know what I didn't draw is the little top part like we did right there. So there, just draw a few lines just to kind of make it space shoes, you know? Because they're from space. All right, so there we go. I say, oh, no, 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 not done, not done. Because A, I always forget the back of this. So I'm gonna put it in there real fast just the way it's kind of flowing. But I forgot I was gonna draw like a little bit of a backpack or flight pack, you know? Something simple, nothing too crazy. Like that. And the energy side, you're not really gonna see much besides that, right? Because it's all back behind him. But I'm gonna add just a little bit of, you know, space space stuff. So we'll just kind of do something like this, and maybe like that, just to give it space. You know, sci-fi look, that's the word I'm trying to go for, but I don't have good words to, to make. All right, so let me connect anything I see is not connecting, so there we go. I say we take care of the rest with color, so that is Rex from Star Wars, The Clone Wars. So here is my colored version. You could do it however you like. I just thought I'd show you how I decided to color it. If you'd like to color it like this, you can always pause the video here and use the coloring techniques that I used, or you can just make it your own. Remember, this is how I draw. You draw how you draw. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more adventures of how I draw. Plus, don't forget to hit that notification button to be updated about each new video.